a dramatic turn of events. Judge hits pause on Google Play Store order. Hold on to your smartphones, everybody, because the Google Play Store saga just took another dramatic turn. This story has been unfolding for quite some time, and just when we thought we had seen it all, a new twist emerges. In a surprising move, U.S. District Judge James Donato has hit the pause button on his own order that was supposed to shake up how Google runs its app store. This decision has left many in the tech world scratching their heads, wondering what could come next. Remember the court battle between Epic Games, the makers of the popular game Fortnite, and Google? This legal showdown has been making headlines for months, capturing the attention of gamers, developers, and tech enthusiasts alike. This is the latest chapter in that ongoing saga. The courtroom drama has been intense, with both sides presenting compelling arguments and evidence. The judge's earlier ruling had sent shockwaves through the tech world. It was a bold move that many believed would level the playing field for app developers and challenge Google's dominance. It demanded that Google make some big changes to its Play Store policies. These changes were seen as a potential game-changer for the industry, offering new opportunities for innovation and competition. These changes were aimed at giving app developers more freedom and breaking Google's grip on the app market. Developers were hopeful that this would lead to a more open and fair ecosystem. But for now, those changes are on hold. The pause has created a sense of uncertainty, leaving everyone wondering what the future holds for the app market. The question on everyone's mind is, why the sudden change of heart? What prompted Judge Donato to reconsider his own ruling? Well, it seems Judge Donato wants to give the Federal Appeals Court in San Francisco a chance to weigh in on this high-stakes case. This move indicates that the judge is seeking a broader perspective before making any final decisions. This case isn't just about Google, it's about the future of the entire app ecosystem and how we access apps on our phones. The outcome could have far-reaching implications for developers, consumers, and the tech industry as a whole. So, buckle up because this legal roller coaster is far from over. The twists and turns are sure to keep us all on the edge of our seats. We're about to dive deep into the Epic Games lawsuit, the judge's orders, and what this delay could mean for Google, app developers, and most importantly, you, the users. Stay tuned. We'll explore the potential outcomes, the stakes involved, and how this could reshape the digital landscape. Don't go anywhere as we bring you the latest updates and expert insights on this evolving story. Epic Games vs. Goliath, a battle for app freedom. This is a story of a small but mighty company taking on a tech behemoth in a fight that could reshape the digital landscape. Now let's rewind a bit and understand how this whole drama began. The seeds of this conflict were sown long before the courtroom battles and media frenzy. It all started with Epic Games, the company behind the gaming sensation Fortnite, taking on tech giant Google. Fortnite, a game that has captivated millions, became the catalyst for this monumental clash. Epic Games, like a brave David facing Goliath, accused Google of acting like a monopoly with its Play Store. They argued that Google's practices were not just unfair, but also harmful to the entire app ecosystem. See, Google's Play Store is the main gateway for Android users to download apps onto their phones. It's the central hub where millions of users go to find new apps and games. It's like a giant app store where you find everything from games to social media apps to productivity tools. The sheer variety and convenience make it the go-to place for Android users. But Epic Games argue that Google was using its dominance unfairly. They claim that the tech giant was leveraging its control over the Play Store to impose restrictive policies on app developers. They claim that Google was forcing app developers to use Google's own payment system, which meant paying hefty commissions to Google. This, according to Epic Games, was a significant barrier to innovation and fair competition. Epic Games wanted the freedom to use their own payment system and keep more of the money their apps generated. They believed that this would not only benefit them, but also other developers and consumers. This battle between Epic Games and Google is about more than just money, though. It's about the principles of fairness and the future of digital marketplaces. It's about control, innovation, and the future of the app market. The outcome of this battle could set a precedent for how app stores operate and how much control tech giants can exert over developers. Epic Games believes that Google's tight control over the Play Store stifles competition and limits consumer choice. They argue that a more open app ecosystem would lead to greater innovation and better options for users. They're fighting for a more open and fair app ecosystem, where developers have more freedom and users have more options. This isn't just a legal battle, it's a fight for the future of how we interact with technology and content. As the battle rages on, the world watches closely. 
The outcome could redefine the balance of power in the tech industry and pave the way for a new era of capitalism. Judge's orders, shaking up Google's Play Store. Judge Donato's initial ruling in this case was a major victory for Epic Games and a blow to Google. This decision marked a significant turning point in the ongoing battle between app developers and tech giants over control and revenue sharing in digital marketplaces. The judge agreed that Google needed to loosen its grip on the Play Store and give app developers more breathing room. This ruling was seen as a step towards leveling the playing field, allowing smaller developers to compete more fairly with larger companies. One of the most significant parts of the judge's order was about in-app payments. This aspect of the ruling had the potential to change the way transactions were handled within apps, affecting both developers and users. Remember how Epic Games complained about being forced to use Google's payment system? This was a major point of contention, as it meant that Google could take a significant cut of the revenue from in-app purchases. Well, the judge sided with Epic Games on this one. This decision was a clear indication that the court recognized the need for more flexibility and fairness in the app marketplace. He ordered Google to allow app developers to use alternative payment systems within their apps. This meant that developers could choose the payment processing system that best suited their needs, potentially reducing costs and increasing their profit margins. This meant that developers could potentially bypass Google's fees and keep more of their earnings. For many developers, this could be a game changer, allowing them to reinvest more money into their apps and businesses. The judge didn't stop there though. His ruling went beyond just payment systems, addressing other aspects of the Play Store's operations. He also ordered Google to make it easier for users to find and download apps from sources other than the Play Store. This was a significant move towards promoting competition and giving users more choices. This is known as sideloading. Sideloading allows users to install apps from sources other than the official App Store, providing more flexibility and options. Currently, Android users can sideload apps, but it's not as straightforward as downloading from the Play Store. The process can be cumbersome and intimidating for less tech-savvy users. The judge's order aimed to make sideloading more user-friendly, giving people more options for getting apps. This could lead to a more diverse app ecosystem, with a wider range of apps available to users. These changes, if implemented, would have significantly reshaped the app landscape on Android devices. Developers would have more freedom to innovate and experiment with new ideas. They would have given app developers more control over their businesses and potentially led to lower prices and more innovation in the app market. This could benefit consumers by providing them with more choices and better value for their money. But, as we know, Google wasn't too happy about these changes and appealed the ruling. The tech giant argued that these changes could compromise the security and integrity of the Play Store, potentially exposing users to risks. The appeal process could take months or even years to resolve, leaving the future of the Play Store and the app marketplace in a state of uncertainty. Developers and users alike are watching closely to see how this legal battle unfolds. In the meantime, Epic Games and other developers continue to push for more freedom and fairness in the app marketplace. They argue that these changes are necessary to foster innovation and competition. The outcome of this case could have far-reaching implications for the entire tech industry, potentially setting new precedents for how digital marketplaces are regulated and operated. As the legal battle continues, one thing is clear. The fight for control over the app marketplace is far from over. Both sides are gearing up for a long and contentious battle, with the future of the Play Store hanging in the balance. Whether the judge's orders will ultimately be upheld or overturned, the case has already sparked important conversations about the balance of power in the tech industry and the need for fair competition. Stay tuned as we continue to follow this landmark case and its impact on the world of apps and digital marketplaces. Section 4. A Temporary Reprieve why did the judge grant the delay? Now here's where things get really interesting. Despite issuing those game-changing orders, Judge Donato decided to grant Google a temporary reprieve. He put his own ruling on hold, giving Google some breathing room while the case makes its way through the legal system. So, why did the judge change his mind? Well, it seems he's trying to be cautious and avoid any potential chaos in the app market. You see, if the judge's orders were to go into effect immediately, it could have caused a lot of disruption for both Google and app developers. Google would have had to scramble to make significant changes to its Play Store policy 